But I think I broke it. I, I, I'm sure I had more sound than if I just went into sound of music and like moved that and you started hearing sound effects. I don't, I, I don't even know if it's a decent sound or not now. Freaking door. The music one doesn't work. I get no music coming up when I do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Right, um I don't really want window for me though. Hey Kenobi! How you doing? But does that work? I don't know. Let's go back, let's see how it goes. Good day to you too. I moved something with my seat and now I'm not in the right position either. This isn't good. It's a right, let's go and read this, hold on. And it'll probably go off the screen there because it's just that's whatever it wants to do. It minimizes it, so it's nope, that's the wrong thing. Store page. Let's go and read this. I'll bring that back up there. Does that work? Oh, I can still use it there. Okay, about the game. Ruins of any village are silent testament to its final moments. The ruins of Oak Marsh are no different. They're telling silence, the dust blanketing what was once a quiet village near Coventry. In the name of the manor and the family that lived within, perverted and mad lineage, a clan whose final members devoted their life to mysticism and fanatical experiments. I'm Abigail, Abigail Blackwood, recently risen from the grave. I know nothing about the last 40 years of my family's history, but obviously it's something, somebody is keen on seeing me lift a veil on what happened in Oakmarsh, to what led to the downfall of Blackwood Manor, and it seems like I have no choice in the matter. So it's 2D World Victorian Mystery over 90 rooms to explore, 5 vast and diverse areas to discover, the manor uh, surrounded by ruins, woods, caves and an abandoned village. Progressive rock and ambient inspired soundtrack. Okay. Um, use your ability to walk through walls in order to reach secret rooms and areas, possess objects like a poltergeist to lift them, use them, combine them, make them float in the air, pile them up. Well, you're a ghost after all, behave like one. Solve puzzles in more than one way by discovering hidden rooms and special features, such as new ghostly powers. Delve into Blackwood's story, 40 years have passed and many things have changed since Abigail's death. Feel free to explore, you can travel through the world of, uh, how do, how do you actually pronounce it? Gotia? However you like, and if you get stuck, simply backtrack and explore another area. <clears throat> it's gone, the scary castle. Right, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually put the music down a bit further. I don't know what it's going to do. What would that just do? Start? Oh, it's quite a dark place and put on headphones. And I'm fine, I got headphones. You guys don't, unless you're wearing. Oh, do we need to go down a bit further? Yeah, we do. Hold on. I'm gonna lower that there. God, I hate when I click off it. Fucks up the sound. At least do that until I can sort it. Is this a gravestone? I can't see myself. There's no one here. Um, no, this isn't right. <laughs> How did you find where I live? <laughs> right, I need to, once again in the game properly, I need to try and look about when, with the sound a little bit. Good. Seems like I still move, in a way. And I can also see things. You also had nothing to do with the grave! Of course, of course. Deny everything. The scary game. It does say it's a horror game. What does the tag say? Hold on. So, what I didn't add... I can't see! Thanks, Twitch. Point and click puzzle horror. Yeah, I'm looking out on tablet and all I can see is the tags that I put. <sighs> but I don't feel anything. Stay calm. Something's wrong. 
Thank Abigail. I know this tree. I'm outside the manor. I just need to think. No, this is wrong. I need to find help. <laughs> Wait, help? Let's see Annie. Father? Mother? Annie? Well, okay, it's a different kind of horror. I'm playing a ghost. With puzzles. Abigail writes down all her thoughts in a journal each time the notebook icon appears. You can see her latest ideas regarding recent events. Perhaps they'll reveal some hints about her next goal. Oh, fuck off. I need my keyboard. J. Right, do I get my options that way? The Awakening? I'm Abigail Blackwood's daughter of Abraham and Helena Blackwood and Annie's sister. To be honest, that's all I remember after the fall and my final scream. Oh, nice. I don't understand what I am or what's happening. I need to find help. I need to find my family. I'm going to forget this. Um. I can't. I, do I have to go? Wait, I have to go back to the main menu to get my sound settings. Right, you need to go right down for me to keep my desktop audio to what I wanted it to be at. Sorry, whenever I go off the screen, I can't get the sound playing. I just know. Actually, no, we'll go halfway. It's still really fucking loud. <laughs> I have to go in front of her. I basically can't hear my alerts then. Shit. Right, hold on. I need to put that there. It's great. Five. And then I can work from that. Hey, here we go. Might be alright. I said it was progressive rock. I'm okay with that. An ambient. Did this two go hand in hand? I don't know, not really. <sighs> Emo goth horror. <laughs> I'm on a regressive rock myself. Hey, this was on so the same summer sale. I was just looking through things that were cheap. It was only like one pound something. Resume. Right. Oh, was that the menu? So we've got an eye. I will go with Blackwoods, 1898 to 1902. Well, at least that makes things clear now. No, what have we got there? What the fuck does that mean? I'm gonna go down a hole with the squiggle arrow? No. I don't even know what it says! In? Interact? In? And you're covering it. Fuck's sake. Shoegaze rock. Yeah. Uh, and it's your six ambient noise. It starts out sounding fine and it gradually goes to shit until the guitarist doesn't know how to play and the drummer resorts to banging box together. Can we oh, can we go disturb the birds? No. Oh god, I'm gonna be fucking pixel hunting, aren't I? We'll have a look at the moon. We've got arrows that way. Ooh, I like this tree. <laughs> but in my memories, it was a bit more impressive, even in winter. So it's like what your brother likes. It does, except it doesn't even sound good at the beginning. 
this way. I remember the path to the village, but I'd rather stay here for now. I don't think I'm very presentable at the moment. Wait, where the fuck are we going this way? Oh, fuck, I pressed the wrong thing. I went too far off the screen. I like this tree. It's a good tree. Now what? Oh, we're flying through. Clues. By holding control, we can highlight every noticeable ele every noticeable elements in the scene. A magnifying glass will appear on every clickable object. No, that ruins it. That ruins the fun. I wouldn't forget that control. I don't think it was about twelve. I know what it listens to these days. That's strange. There's a hexagonal shape carved out of the pedestal. If something had been taken out, I don't think I saw that before. As a point and click, you'd basically. I need to figure out what the fuck you're doing. So there's something missing there. Gate's closed. Covered in rust. Hi! Sound effects! Uh, now how can I open it? Unless maybe I could go through it? Like that? Blackwood Manor, just like in my memories. I was born and died here? I remember this window. That's where I fell. It's cold. What window? That one? That one up there. No leaves on that tree. We're still in winter, but I don't feel cold. Oh, is it this, this tree is a hole? Okay. Nothing else new there. Oh, this is gonna be fun. It map. Abigail's progress is displayed in real time on the map. The map will show you which rooms you've entered and those that are still out of reach. Be sure to check it regularly. Uh, you can also teleport to some rooms directly, supposing that you're not possessed. Oh! That you're not possessing an object? Those will be coloured in yellow. Oh, no. Wait, what? Can I... I guess I haven't got any other ways to go. So right outside there. There's something. Is that me? That is me. Uh, dubstep and hardstyle, none of those pseudo musical party noise genres. Uh, because they're very cool and agey when we were growing up. I. Have you had shite when I was younger? A light? Is there someone there who can help me? Okay, but how do. We... Let's go inside them. How do I get in? Going through the gate was easy, but such an obstacle? Oh god. Okay, a light. Now the seeds. Wait, so I'm a ghost but I can't go through walls? Eh, hey, alternative is good. Uh, no, it's not so cool. Uh, it took for a while, but never went as far as dubstep. I really like that. Oh no, we can go in! Bet she just said that you couldn't! Impossible. It's terrifying, but better handy. <laughs> I too wish I could walk through doors. <laughs> right, what do we got? Uh. Can I light candle? No. We go upstairs? How do I go upstairs? Oh shit, whoops. Probably what I can't interact with anything while that's up there. Is that? Those vase wasn't quite as dull looking before. Is my mind playing tricks on me? Well, you know you're dead, but you just don't know how long you've been dead for. Stairs aren't quite as impressive as I remember. They're covered in dust. You're covered in dust. Candles are lit. Must be someone around. Father usually works late at night. Wait, do you assume that you've seen your tombstone? She had, well, no, she doesn't know what year she's in, does she? 
Can we open? You would have drawn this map. The names remind me of Farrer's studies, but you would never have taken his documents out of his office. Well, let me click it then. Why does it look like Paimon? Why are you in fucking Genshin Impact? A hall office library, observatory. That's a fucking art, isn't it? Someone jamming out some German techno. Na na is it Naberius? Silver Labyrinth. Boris. <laughs> Everyone's favourite emergency snack. Is it Malthus? Eldwitch Forest. Fields of Stone. I don't know what it says. Is that an I or is that a weird, like, a U going to an N? I, I wish. There's straight lines in it. <sighs> Softer kind of techno that's popular in the 2000s, let's that stuff too. Codex. Each note, uh, journal, book, and post you read, read is stored in the codex. No need to retrace your steps. Everything's here! Hey! Ooh, nice. I wonder if that's. Oh, it'll be different locations as well. Okay. So we read that. Can I close the door then? Oh, no, it's just a map again. Okay, it would have been nice to be able to close the door again. Shield. Can I light this one? No. Oh. Damaged tableware. The manor steam is abandoned. I don't understand. Oh, I thought it was. Is it all damaged tableware? Shit, it's all damaged tableware. My grandparents used to hunt deer in the woods on the manor grounds. Good evening, Jack, Rufus, Ted, Molly. No, you named them? Uh, cool, I was not in high school. I was a social leper. Wait, what? Wait, you didn't go to high school? It's the horns. You were so unimpressive, they just got the horns for you, did they? I don't think there's anything else there. Do I go upstairs? Ooh. Oh, oh hi! Oh god, don't you have moving eyes. You can't interact with these. Oh, there's light there. The clock. Face. They're two different times, aren't they? Uh, oh, you weren't calling out? Oh god, near was I. I was like the the, uh, the misfits. I've gone upstairs. Oh god, the music's changed a bit. Uh, it doesn't look like any of the clocks in the manor are working, but I'm not particularly worried about that right now. Someone's drawn some symbols here. Does it have anything to do with demonology? Other studies? <laughs> Wait, why are we- we're a young girl who- We're exploring the manor four years later. Your father was doing demonology. And you failed it- what? Alright, we're seeing in high school. <laughs> why does it look like there's food getting roasted? I thought it was like there's a snack symbol up there. Like, some primitive- carving that you would have for um monster hunter <laughs> oh no 
I can't work out which demons these symbols represent. I really need help. These walls clearly don't want anything to go through them. Is there a way to get through? Ooh, so we're blocked by what looks like smoking meat or something. Or a cane. Mother's favourite cane. <laughs> okay. Hi, <laughs> right, Alice in Wonderland? What's this doing in Mother's library? This is a library? It's similar to hanging out with the gaming people, the rest of mostly kept himself. Well, here, here's the thing, I was in like the... The... Okay, so when you got put to high school you had different tiers of classes. So you had your ones that maybe weren't as good at the subjects, and then your medium and then your high. I was in like... the high classes. Um... So... It was a bunch of smug horses that I was around with most of the time. Until it got to... unless it was like music or art. Um, music, art, PE, I think was with your registration class. So you had some classes that were, you know, registration and then you had ones which were your point just depended on it. it had the registration class you had your point class so the point class was the ones that were more like your math english the sciences uh a cool art girl oh god no but I, I just tried to keep it to myself most of the time all right uh there's a note hidden between the pages the handwriting's rather clumsy it doesn't look much different from mine. It must have been written by a child. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, have they got that? Okay, Edward. Alexander and I sneaked into father's uh, laboratory and we found something interesting. There's the weird powders. No? Flowers? Powder? Powder. Is it powder? I don't know. Uh, I will show you how it reveals hidden writings. Know this. You just have to pour the powder on the paper to reveal the ink. Alexander told me to keep some of it. Um, now we start writing coded messages. I mean, math wasn't that bad. I haven't- oh is that a hat? Can I wear the hat? No. Oh my god, it doesn't look like a tombstone. I got a tombstone that I'm- wait, that looks like fucking- oh wait, like Frankenstein shit. Oh no. Oh, it's weird. It, it depends on him speaking about it. So we've got notes. I think we're picking up all the notes. <sighs> Books on botany and chemistry. Nothing I need right now. Electronic. Yeah, there's a little bit, but it was just weird because it looked like, um, tombstone to me. Oh, different. Clearly, don't want anything to go through them. Is there a way to get through? Well, that symbol looks like those ones. That one right there. And we've got like the the feet, the food going on, the food cooking up here. Oh, so it's different rooms that I'm, I can't get through? I, I enrolled with the- oh god, I, I thought German and French looked like a bunch of busy work. Uh, it was auxiliary option for enhanced Swedish and English. That one was class for the psychos. 
<laughs> Class for the psychos. Ooh, we'll go here. Oh, the keys? Uh, one of Farrah's most disconcerting hobbies, collecting keys for which there's no keyhole. Uh, no, that's not right. <laughs> I had a lot of fun, it wasn't enhanced in the slightest, it was more meant for people who were- Oh, feeling Swedish and English. Oh shit, hi. Why would anyone hide the Virgin Mary behind lock and key? <laughs> Possession. Abigail has possessed an object. Now be able to move it, use it, or combine it with another. Another hand as an object. Uh, Abigail gains a foothold in the world of living. Yeah, and has to accept its rules. No object can cross a wall. I mean... Can't do anything there. Don't want anything to go through them, there's a way to get through. <laughs> I've just got a fucking floating Virgin Mary. Oh, is that the button? Oh god. I really want to know what the switch is for. Uh, electricity and electronics in high school and looked down the poor No, and it was looked down in college going kids and only the dropouts coming to college. Uh, oh, I wish to welding and woodworking. Some of the college prep courses. The important has been hidden in this cupboard. What? Oh god, not you. Some accounting invoices, deeds of property. And what's this? Okay, what the fuck am I even reading? Copy of an entry of death. Uh, Coventry, Northeast. Wait, even ninth of October. Is it October? I can't read it from where I'm sitting! Ab was it Abraham Edwards? Oh, he's 26 years old. He's dead now. Occupation. Professor of Literature. And uh, it was lung cancer? Did we get to see any other ones? No. A death certificate. Father's name on it? Possible. Can't believe it. He was 76, but how? What happened to me? What about mother and Annie? 1939. My last memories date back to 1902. Must be a bad dream. So much of this doesn't make any sense. I just don't understand what's going on. Father's office. He must have taken notes. Maybe his research can help me. Anything else? No, it's just that. I can't go that way either. Oh, for fuck's sake. Different plans, different books. Something's going on here. I really liked newspapers. Wait. Second of February 1941? No, that can't. In 40, no, 13 years? It's impossible. This is a nightmare. There's a Virgin Mary. Uh, these don't look like mother's plants. She always likes flowers better. Someone has been looking after them, though. So someone is here. here. Oh, can't go through that way, can I? It goes up that way. It's going to shoot her way to the left. Let's go down there. We can probably just go, like, up and down. Try to go through normal ways, though.
Everything is so dilapidated. What did I just do? I have no idea. I think I just made the door fart. Maybe. Hey, it's my part of grandfather's mineral collection. Only gonna be the same, isn't it? Oh, I can't go down that way either. Wait, there's stuff coming through there. Yeah, it should be unfolded neatly, so I'm still cares about these things. I've got a picture of is this stuff of the manor itself? Hey, a view of the manor in the fog. Something about this painting troubles me. Can't tell what. Now it comes to the painting. Or something like it isn't all got. No. Oh, is that the sheets? Couch seems comfortable enough to have a rest if only I could. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Something's written in the margin. Property of Alexander Hodgkin. The name is new to me. It could be the person who's here. Why is there a funeral? Is that not the bed warmer? Or you put coals in it? <laughs> hey, Richie. Um, bad hands, the rooms. Uh, oh, shooting action? Yeah, I, I think it might be that. So you put your coals in it and you would heat your bed up in some way, maybe? I think it is. Is that a bed warmer? Like, an old hot water. before hot water bottles. Um. What do they call them? Is it bedpan warmer? Da -da -da. Metal container. Yeah, bed warmer. Uh, fit handle. No, fit with a handle. Somewhat shaped like a modern frying pan. The solid, refinely de perforated lid. Filled with embers and placed under the covers of a bed to warm up or dry it out before use. What do you mean, dry it out? I, you got sheets on your bed. They should be dry already. <clears throat> Okay, you're sparkling at me. Good little floaty clouds. Uh seem mostly important and they're well worn. Oh. You ever heard the story of Icarus who flew too close to the sun? Let me tell you a version of the ancient story. And who thought himself a great alchemist, the master of the elements of nature, found all forgotten grimoire, teach him to summon demons, and command them to carry out whatever he wanted. Now this man gained his power by following the lead those before him. That is to say, he had used the results from experiments performed by other masters to appear wise to those around him. However, while he was good at applying that which he had learned from others, his ability to think on his feet and to reason was lacking. This man loved a woman whom he had never spoken to. He watched her from afar, admiring her beauty and dreaming of what it would be like if she was his wife. He spent so much time in the world of fantasy, where she was his, that his obsession had started to take a toll on him couldn't sleep, ate, and became isolated from his friends. The directions in the book were clearly laid out, and because of his adeptness at following instructions in his alchemical manuals, he thought he would master demons as quickly as he mastered alchemy. Of desperation for his woman, for this woman, he summoned a demon named Belith, who it was said could create love between man and woman. Sensing his desperation, the demon came to his summons. The man was sure that it was his skill that brought Belith to him so quickly. He commanded the demon to bring his love to him. 
haste and without harm befalling her. The demon laughed, saying it was an easy task, as the woman felt the same way as the man, but he would require but a single action from the man to ensure success. Ecstatic, the man agreed to do whatever Bellis needed to accomplish the task. The demon dictated a love letter to him, telling him to send it to his love on a specific date using the exact words he gave him. After the man dismissed the demon, he immediately wrote the letter that Belleth had dictated to him, word for word, and set it aside, waiting for the appointed day to mail his note. When the day came to mail the letter, his love went to a spiritualist to speak to her beloved mother, who had passed when she was young. When the medium called the spirit of her mother, Belleth came in disguise and told her of the letter that she would receive. He told her that the man who wrote it was a necromancer and meant to do her family harm. Knowing exactly what the man had written, Belleth easily scared off the man's love and destroyed his reputation in the process. Just like Icarus, his overconfidence had destroyed him. However, we can learn one more lesson. Without the ability to reason, to create and innovate, a master is not a master. Never take what you read or see at face value, and that includes anything and everything that I write you. <laughs> okay. The little ladders. So this is like in other games where you've got a library and have the tiny ass ladders next to it, which would only go up to like that height if it's a tall ass room. This ha this has a reasonable height going on to it. Uh, books about magic. Not a science I'm familiar with. Is it all magic? Is there something specific? In that shell. This one looks different. The building and renovation of churches. Uh, I think I remember hearing about a chapel in the woods near the manor. Can't go down that way either. Pencils, notebooks, and newspapers. Mother? Since you will not listen to reason, I must stop you myself. Apologize for stealing your notes, but I see no other way. Uh, Gabriel may be the oldest, but he has no idea what you are up to. I will be back for young Edwards uh, and Robert. I forbid you from trying anything with them, or you will dearly regret it. This has all gone on long enough. Farewell, A. E. Wait, so you're going to turn the camera? I really searched one. Uh, when you're awards. Oh, it's not you freaking out when you stay? Oh no, has anyone else had the issue? I'm ghosting after I take a picture? So that's nothing there. I don't recognize found handwriting on this notebook. Uh, okay. to the third. Writing a journal has never interested me up until now. These past few days I've felt needs for it. All of these things are crowding my mind and I can um Is it supposed to be rarely sleep? Hardly? It doesn't look like an H. Uh I find Father's precious notes today. I just got what took up all this time. I bet there's something where you fucking click on it and it gives it in like decent text. Uh, da -da -da. You're not burning, but it shows the picture you took transparent on the LCD when you try to take a new picture. It layered on the LCD screen on top of what is viewing. Oh! Okay, I discovered what took up all this time, an incredible collection of documents, vague references, crazy writings about demons and seals, names I know nothing about, uh, enigmatic symbols, drawings, a huge number of- Oh, that's the ones there. Um, documents. Documents he used to share with my sweet Abigail an eternity ago. My first instinct was to close this box and put it back where I found it, but curiosity is consuming me. 
by Forrester the Third. Um, I am voraciously reading Father's documents, um, starting to make sense out of them. Maybe he wasn't as mad as his isolation let, let it on. Uh, what I took for a time consuming hobby was actually an in depth study of an ancient cult named Oh, Gosia. I do know if it still seems crazy, and maybe it is. Uh, Gotia was used to call forth demons to ask questions. Oh, favors of them. Um, a very human tradition. These summonings seem to have been possible. Father seemed interested in five of these demons. Malthus. Is it B U N E? Paimon, Oras, and Naberius. And that's why I drew it in their different ways. Eli uh, Hawk! I know, does this screen when I looked at one of the JPEGs actually have two images on it? Oh, like double exposure? That's weird. I thought you only got that with like actual film film. You used to have it, you would get that years ago when you're getting pictures developed and you see it and be like, with two pictures and one. I never heard digital doing that. Or nothing like that happened to me anyway. Okay, uh, and those are very detailed about rituals, formulas, personalities of each entity, strengths and weaknesses. I have difficulties believing they actually exist, however, other studies um, are so thorough and precise that I am beginning to have doubts. 12th to the 5th. Curiosity is guiding me towards knowledge. I tried some of the rituals this past week. I'm happy I can isolate myself as I feel somewhat ridiculous saying out loud the summoning words taken from an old, uh, from a strange. Language. I have had no success yet. The quest of consuming me. Um, I spend entire days writing down the questions I want to ask the demons, as well as behaviours and the words I should avoid in their presence. I chose Malthus. He seems to be the less deranged of the demons among those I read about. And I hope he is not so dangerous, but he doesn't seem to hear me. I'm growing desperate. Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah, could you get a setting for that? Check out, take a double exposure picture, and work backwards from there, see if you accidentally activate the mode. Um, as I say, war, war is coming, I can feel it. People of Oakmarsh are different, nervous. The enemy is so far out from uh, our front door, however, and I can't stop feeling that they are reacting strangely to my own presence. I couldn't explain this feeling. Eighth to the seventh. I feel feverish, confused. I can't sleep. I can't believe it. Malthus answered. I first um, perceived an indescribable noise, as is huge. Ha no, as if a huge hammer. Fucking hell! It looks like an S. As is, as if a huge hammer uh, was hitting the walls around me. Then a wind filled room coming from under the doors. I swear I heard the rustle of feathers as if thousands of the birds were flying around the room when he started speaking to me. I froze, uh, too stunned to utter a single word. This fellow, this demon, is particularly charismatic. My first thoughts went to my beloved sister. Abigail would have been so impressed, astonished, moved. I asked the questions. Wait, is this Annie? We know there's mother and father, and then there's Annie. I think it was Abraham was the father. Sister Annie, I can't remember what the mother, mother's name was. Do, do, do. Did you post that into Discord? 
Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's have the sign of the show off everything, too. The only thing I could think would be like somebody had said if there was like a double exposure setting that had somehow got activated. <clears throat> Okay, I was impressed, astonished, moved. I asked the questions um, I craved answers for. Was Abigail with him? Could he find her? He laughed, little fuss, uh, as a very charming laugh, very soft. He told me he couldn't bring her back, that she was well. I should feel calm, but that my thirst for answers isn't calmed. The second and the seventh. Malthus and I are growing to know each other. It feels so strange to write it uh, thus. Even more strange to live it. This demon is particularly caring, and I sometimes forget he is an entity uh, by far superior to us pure humans. Seems I am for him a welcome distraction. He had little occasions to talk with the living the past five millennia. Sometimes think, my uh, dear Joseph, I feel a guilty relief that he should no longer be of this world. If Adder were still alive, my research and my successes would have surely filled him with pride. And Abigail, who often mocked um, my... What is supposed to be terror? Jeez, fucking ours. When faced with Adder's experiments. Uh, can she only see me today? Oh, for fuck's sake. How much is there? Would you be proud of your older sister? Give me research far from my children's reach. I'm too young to understand what is at stake. Maybe I can start talking about it with Gabriel. I'm looking forward to sharing my knowledge, the rituals tied to Gotia. Maybe they suspect something. Alexander seems weary lately. 8th to the 10th. They are here. They started bombing London yesterday. Uh, Mrs. Matthews and her husband left Oak Marsh a few days ago, leaving everything behind. I'm worried. Uh, what worlds will my children grow up in? Can I even imagine what tomorrow will look like? When I asked Malthus, he had this answer, amused look, um, he often has. The one that annoys me so much. Arrogant. <laughs> uh, does this a heap of feathers? He doesn't care, of course. Hell is a far more peaceful place than Earth, he said. Uh, as you should be able to back out of yeah, the display back buttons, I'm not sure. Okay, 12th to the 10th. I exchanged a few words today with Elias, the vicar. I couldn't stand not sharing my research, but his reaction surprised me. He told me he had been eagerly awaiting this day. Who other than me could know so much about this subject? The vicar offered me his help. How could a man of God conduct such research trying to call forth demons. I think I'll accept his offer. No, no, don't. Don't. Ah. I think we've just gone down a really awful path right there. Uh, I only browsed some of Fanner's work. Demonic invocation is only a small part of the Gotia. And I can't count on Malthus. Uh, who refuses to answer my questions on the subject. But that malicious bird can laugh as much as he wants. I'll get my answers. There was a bird outside. Second of the 11th. Oak Marsh is now empty. I have a ghost town in my door. Gotia isn't a discreet. Um, does this see art? I suppose the last rituals uh, convinced the bravest of them to leave their home. Let them go. I don't need their idiotic prejudices. When our enemies will be out of doors, at least I will have something to welcome them with. The 5th of the 11th. Gabriel, my sweet Gabriel, I was sure you'd understand. I love you so much. 
Robert Edward, I hope you'll understand the importance of the quest. So I think Robert and Edward were the sister's kids. Uh, there's no hope left. I won't be here when these disgusting invaders arrive. I'll let them try and get close to my cult. No? Does that say cult? Club? Oh, children! Oh, it's the, the run on. Uh, okay. They will regret it. <laughs> Come and colonize Oak Marsh. See what I care. None of these uh, short sighted villagers supported me when I needed it. They don't deserve to be remembered. They come inside Blackwood Manor. <laughs> I will rain down hell on them. I the fifth of the first. Thank you. Um, is it Anton? Elias. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Everything will soon be ready. I won't be here to see the world crumble. I don't look as arrogant and mocking as before, Malthus. Don't worry, I'm not heartless. You won't be alone. Your friends will join you. Th what the hell was this sister doing? The spell is sealed. Abigail, please wait for me. Hear me, heed my call. Wow. I don't even know why I'd clicked on to see that. Hold on. I think it was that one, and I think it was that one I read. Okay. We've got like. Stuff in the walls there? A massive book on the shelf must be important. If I... Somewhat altered? Oh wait, I might be somewhat altered, but even so, there's no way I can read that book without finding a way to get off the sh showcase. Ah. Oh. Um, the fan may not be fond of horses. The statue is gorgeous. I don't remember it either. It's locked. I can't get this book off the shelf. Do I... Oh no, I can't bring... Can I bring the Virgin Mary and smash the glass? <laughs> Did I open the door? I don't think I can. Hold on. Oh hi! Hi sound effects! Maybe I do get the Virgin Mary. Is that- Oh! It's the second door I had to open, that's what it was. Open that one. Alright, okay. Go back, get the Virgin Mary. So many buttons you accidentally press? Mm. Where did I leave Virgin Mary? I am the floating Virgin Mary. Is, um, mm -hmm. so you can't go through walls. Woo! Is um, controlling. I have to, have to open all the doors. Can I hit the glass? Can I? Okay, but okay. no, I'll just put you on the shelf. Fucking hell! Can I do anything else for you? I thought we could smash you. Literally not. We're taking the Virgin Mary with us. I don't know. Yeah, someone wants you accidentally pressed and I still don't understand half of them. At least it's fixed though. Maybe I can't do that. Box contains some kind of white powder.
Wheat powder. Okay. Hollowed skull. One of Mother's eccentricities. I suppose it must have come from the upstairs library. Plates. At some point I'll probably have to press... Was it control? For um... I used to hide in the wardrobe. I never found me in here. Yes, yeah, bring up everything I could possibly interact with. Oh, it looks like it's all the same, isn't it? Yeah. Extruder either. I can go down there, though. Can you make in the sword and treasure do hide in the written words? Try to remember this. Wait, it's like when you learn CNC machines. The control panel has over a hundred buttons, and every single one is self-destruct. I can. Oh my god! What can I? What can I? Can I? No, I can't write anything. All right, I'm gonna put. Oh my god! How do? I... Oh shit! Whoops! So we've got powder. We've got the Virgin Mary. We have a feather, a quill. This this is some weird collection of items that I can take control of. Didn't paint them. There were someone just shot a feather cannon. Feathers. Oh, oh, where are you going? Oh, no. Oh, God, what are you doing? Full nerdy version of Christopher, <laughs> Christopher Columbus. Uh, good evening, young lady. Who the f- Where? Oh, mm, okay. I like the look of the bird, though. Good evening, young lady. Who? Oh, who are you? Going to Firelink Shrine? <laughs> yeah. I know, not a creepy word at all. Oh, come now. You wound me. We're already acquainted. Of course, it was some time ago. You may not have even seen that I was there. Is that a map on the wall behind? There's some of the symbols there as well. Uh, okay, I am one of the kind your father did so love to talk about, even if he elected not to teach you much about me in, uh, in particular. My current form, shall we say, should be something of a hint. You're one of the demons that father was studying. A raven? You must be Malthus. But demons, demons don't exist. They're just an unpleasant hobby of his. Yes, demons were an unpleasant hobby. I suppose you must be right. After all, that would be simply absurd, not unlike believing in ghosts, perhaps. I must say, I'm rather surprised to see you here right now. No matter. I'm always flattered you recognise me. It means that mankind has not quite forgotten about me yet. Not completely, at least. What do you want? <laughs> what do I want? Oh, I see. Abraham must have taught you that I would require a favour if you were so impertinent as to summon me. Uh, but in your case, young lady, I chose to appear before you. I was like, I never summoned him. You can go do one. You did not summon me, and thus can we dispense with the quid pro quo? I suppose I simply wanted to, well, chirp with someone, perhaps. Chirp? Fine. What are you doing here? Aha! Well, that is quite an interesting question. Uh, would I could answer it. Uh, in between Spain and North Africa? What, the map here? Well, we're in, what, Coventry? Does it say? We're in England. I believe the manor is. 